Hello again, Rebecca here, and welcome back to another British Monroe Design Team layout. So today, we're going to play with some embossing powder and these very cute new Crafty Elf stamp sets. So we've got Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, Deck the Halls, Be Your Best Elf, and There's No One Elf Like You. So they're all a little crafty, like this guy's got scissors, this guy's holding a ruler, he's doing tape or washi, this one's cutting something, this one's... um using a tape gun, We've got a little guy gluing stuff down here, We've got three presents of different sizes and I love it so I'm going to create a few of these. Oh. And I'm going to use today, I'm going to go ahead, whoa, knocking stuff all over the place. I'm going to use this little guy. I'm going to use the guy at the table, and we're going to use the one with the ruler, and then we'll do the three presents, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp all of these out with the Brutus Monroe embossing ink, and use some Raven Detail um, Ultra Fine Embossing Powder, and then I'm just going to go in and water, roughly watercolor them very quickly, and then... I've also brought in this very fun stencil. Not sure if I'm going to get that used or not. We'll see how that goes. I might put them down on the white and do some stencil work. Eh, not sure. But I want to create a Christmas tree on the background with this uh, sparkling spruce embossing powder. So I've got my Bruce Monroe reinker to paint a Christmas tree on. So hmm, fingers crossed, right? These are the two photos, my husband and his daughter. So we'll have to cut her out of this one because her head's cut off anyway. But I figured that'll be fun. Got my coffee filter, which is what I, it's my very technical tool for catching embossing powder. So we're just going to go ahead and get those done. I will do all of that off screen because it's going to be loud and, but I will come back and maybe color one or two of them with you guys. So give me just a minute. So real quick, I want to show you how easy it is to use this, uh, all wrapped up stamp or stencil. Okay. So I just took, uh, mowed lawn green and I just moved it around because I'm going to cut them out into squares so it doesn't matter. I don't have to be perfect. And then we're going to take this guy and we're going to layer it up right in between there and we're going to put our bow on in a candied apple. I'm just getting my... But yeah, seriously, look how uh, easy this is. And like I said, doesn't matter if you go outside the lines. Because we are simply going. Now I did a couple of them because some of them I messed up. Because nobody's perfect. Come on, get that one put there. And we're just going to get a little bit of that red on. But look how easy that is. If you guys haven't picked up this stamp set, oh, you better. See, this one I really liked, but then I dropped the sponge on it. So, it's rough being me sometimes. cool this is and obviously it's getting darker because my blending brush here is getting more ink on it but yeah just keep lining it up so yeah this is something that you need to go pick up before you can't and then you've missed out nobody wants to miss out so now I have some presents to go with all my fun little crafty elves. So uh, be forewarned, you will be seeing this stencil a lot in the coming months. And then I'm just going to take, you know, and cut out the presents so you'll only have the presents left. How cool is that? Oh my goodness. All right. 
I have to get back to drawing my Christmas tree on there. And these guys are all embossed. So we're gonna, I'm gonna color them up. Yeah, we'll see what everything turns out to look like. So I've got all these painted up. I'm gonna go ahead and let them, a little wet, and let that dry. And what I thought I wanted to show you guys, is I didn't use my embossing butter. So we're just kinda getting all those little excess pieces off best I can. Be a little bit of a speckled background, but I just kind of freehand the tree. So, you know, you can tell it's hand drawn. I'm okay with that. I think it's cute. And then I took a paintbrush and I painted <laughs> the uh, embossing ink on there, covered the tree with the sparkling spruce, and then I grabbed gold frost to do the trunk. And now I thought. You might actually be able to see the transformation because there's a lot on here. So I'm going to turn this on. It's going to get loud, but you will at least be able to watch it transform. You got to let it heat up first. You want to hold it above the table. You don't want to leave it sit directly on there. You don't want to melt it, but I do have quite a bit of ink behind it, right? So, can you see it changing? I sure hope you can. I'm just going all the way down, watching it bubble up. It changes color as well. recommend not using as much of the ink as I use, but I did put a pretty good layer down. And go about one more time, make sure I got everything sealed. touch it because you will burn yourself. I'm going to let it dry, cool down, and then we're going gonna to cut out all of my little pieces off screen, but how fun is that? <laughs> and you can tell this is like my go-to Christmas tree. Swish, 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 swish. And then I usually have a big one, but yeah. See? Nice and dry. I was totally afraid I was going to burn myself on screen. So, all you need is a re-inker, a paintbrush, and draw. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all that stuff up and I'll be right back. So I've got my uh, presents down here, my little stenciled presents to create the border down there. This photo of them sitting on top of that and I've got a photo up there. And we're gonna take our cute little crafty guys. And I am using both dry and liquid adhesive. That's a lot of mixed media going on back there, right? So I'm going to squirt some of this back there so that 
it stays. We're going to go ahead and get these cute little guys on. So look at him. I'm going to put the guy with the ruler down here because she looks like she's measuring it. And the little crafty one. I'll show you a close up of him. I just used watercolor brushes too. Paint those. I'm going to tuck these presents all in. Here. Now I made them all colorful because I didn't just want to go. Because I knew the elves were going to be colorful, right? So I didn't want to. Of just the elves colorful and everything else like you know red and green so we're gonna get these two of them up there and these other little guys are gonna come right down here just gonna pop them in and then I gotta go pull some other items to get on here, um, so like we got this little Christmas believe, and again we are just gonna go with all extra. I'm just gonna pop believe right down there. I think we're just going to go for it, see if we can get all these wooden bits on there. This one says deck the halls. Um, that's, that's pretty much all we're going to be able to get on there. <laughs> ornaments in here. Yes. I'm just gonna start tucking those under. Probably actually should have put that on a branch, huh? We're gonna put that on a branch. Because I sometimes, you know, hang that one there. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking of layering, right? I'll go ahead and just tuck that guy right there. I got glue on my finger. Don't actually even know if I have any more. Um, I thought I had more of those little ornaments, so that's awkward. So we'll just start kind of creating a little cluster right here because <laughs> I don't have any more of the embellishments. One over here. Or ornaments, not embellishments. I don't. Sometimes. Let's just go ahead and get a little candy cane behind her. And I don't know, you guys. I got something stuck on my finger and it was annoying me. But I'm actually kind of thinking that, uh, I'm digging the way that looks just like that. If I start adding it too much, it might tend to start look a bit on the gaudy side. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out a jelly roller. We'll do silver, why not? I don't even know if it's going to work. So that one doesn't work. I 
think this is going to be sparkly. We're just going to kind of go back and forth, make some crazy sketchy lines, but add just a little bit more sparkle to the page. Make sure we're getting good coverage all the way down. I don't know if we are. Different take on the sketchy lines, right? Making like messy sketchy lines. that is gonna do it you guys so thanks for hanging out with me today don't forget to go pick up all of this lovely stuff at Brutus Monroe create yourself a fun Christmas tree background that you could like have some dimension and lots of glitter on I'll see you later bye <laughs>